Hey, it's me, Matt Urbano. Wanted to say hi to you guys. I've been getting a lot of different emails lately on uh, just different types of cigars. Could I do a couple of like little one-on-one -on -one sessions just as far as um, you know what cigars are like, how to clip a cigar, how to light a cigar, the difference in the sizes, the difference in the flavors, and the in the different tastes. So, I, I thought I'd just show you with my line here some of some of the differences in the cigar. So. Uh, this is our premium box line. Everything here is a uh, Corojo wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder from the Dominican Republic. Okay, everything here is aged for three years, so that means that the tobacco has been aged um, after it's been cured for for three years, and then we bring it into our shop down in the Dominican Republic and do what's called uh, fermentation. And I'll talk about that later. What fermentation actually does is removes us the sugars, the starches, and uh, the, the ammonia smell from the tobacco. So you're really left with a, a premium tobacco. It's got a lot of great flavor. So as far as one of the big questions I often get asked is, what is the difference in the sizes? And then how do you determine which size is right for you? So I always like to start out and say that this is a Corojo wrapper that we already talked about and these are all grown in the Dominican Republic. This is a aged tobacco, three years, true Dominican Puro, first generation Cuban seed. This particular cigar comes in five different sizes. So right here we've got a 6x60, a Churchill, a Toro, Torpedo Robusto. Now the ingredients are all the same in these cigars. The only thing that's different is the actual shape and the size. So a Robusto is a nice cigar. It's about five inches long and the ring gauge on that is 50. Okay, And that will last for about a half hour. So depending on how much time you have, like if you're sitting out in the back porch on a Saturday afternoon, you have a lot of time. You might want to smoke a longer or thicker cigar. If you're kind of busy, you have about 20 minutes to a half hour, 45 minutes to kill, I would go with a shorter cigar. So the Robusto, five inches long, 50 ring gauge. It's going to last for about a half hour or so if, if you're not really smoking on it, you know, really, really hard drawn on it. The next size up for us is the Torpedo. The Torpedo is my personal favorite. What that is, is basically it's a six inch long cigar. 52 ring gauge, so it's six inches long. The circumference of the cigar is 52, and then it comes up into a little cone shape here, and that's where you get the, the name torpedo. So it actually looks like a torpedo um, from a submarine or something like that. Th this will last you probably about 30, 35 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on how quickly you smoke. So these are our two quick cigars, okay? These three are a little bit longer. Now remember, the ingredients inside are all the same. The wrappers are all the same. The only thing that's different is the size. So on this side here, we've got a Toro Churchill 6x60. This, the, the Toro is 6 inches long. That is a uh, 50 ring gauge. That's a cigar that will probably last you a good 45 minutes or so. And um, this, these three on this side like the Robusto have a rounded cap, the Torpedo in our line is the only one with the cone shaped top, okay? So these three right here, you've got the Toro, the Churchill, the, the 6x60. So depending again how much time you have and then what, what size you're actually comfortable with, the, the Churchill is, is probably about a full 45 minutes to an hour. Um, it's 7 inches long and it's a 48 ring gauge. And then this is our 6x60. This is actually taken off really, really big for us right now. It's a much longer smoke. You're talking about full hour, hour and a half of smoking this cigar, depending on how often you draw on it. And um, that, that's pretty much what I always say. So what I look for when I am picking a cigar is, A, do I want a mild cigar, a medium cigar, medium to full body or full body cigar? And then I say to myself after I make my, my choice, well, how much time do I actually have to smoke the cigar? And that's how I choose my cigar. Like in the morning time, I, I smoke two to three cigars a day, depending on the day. So in the morning, I would smoke something lighter, Connecticut, for me. In the afternoon, I would smoke something, you know, a little bit more mild to medium. And then in the, in the actual evening, maybe after dinner, if I'm going to have a stronger coffee, dessert, something like that, then I'll smoke like a medium to full body or full body cigar. 
and um, that's just my personal preference you can always mix it up and go from there and then different size is just basically how, how long you have so uh, again I just wanted to give a quick little tour here of our line talk about the shapes a little bit different uh, and then also talk about how long it takes for each one to burn hey talk to you soon have a good one bye